Are you tired of conceding goals after short or long high through balls like the one you've just seen? Then you should definitely continue watching this tutorial. Hello and welcome guys to a new video for our channel B Park Gaming International. This time, as you already can see in the background, it's a tutorial video. The scenes are from FIFA 14, but the techniques explained perfectly work in FIFA 15 as well. But before the tutorial actually starts, I would like to introduce myself, because it's my first video on this channel. So, my name is George, I'm 18 years old and I'm one of the founders of B-Park Gaming. I finished school this year, so now I have a lot of time for B-Park Gaming, for B-Park Gaming International and for FIFA itself. And I'm kind of an eSportler as well, so I play FIFA on tournaments. And that's why I know that a huge problem of many players in FIFA 14 is defending long and short high through balls. And that's why I'm here today to help you out, so enjoy the tutorial. Basically, there are four different steps you need to follow if you want to defend a long or short high through ball. And if you really master them, then you will not concede a single goal after a high through ball at all, unless you get unlucky. So, first step, you need to recognize the run of the player who is the target man for the high through ball. Second step, you need to choose the right player to defend the high through ball. Third step, you need to close the space with the player you have selected and last but not least you need to clear the ball. That are the four steps which I will explain now in detail. The first step might seem quite obvious but actually it's the most important one of all four. I mean, look at this example. Sarata is starting a huge run into a space more open than the desert somewhere in Africa but the opponent does not care. He totally selected the wrong player while Sarat is actually very kind. He's pointing to the direction he's running and says like, opponent, you have a leak in your defense right here. But the opponent still does not care. And that's why the long high through ball of Di Maria totally crushes his defense. And he's lucky that Courtois is one of the worst goalkeepers in FIFA Ultimate Team. Not. But to be serious again, I will now show you a well defended long high through ball to explain you in detail the four steps. The opponent is starting a counter attack in his own half while a striker of him is making a good run into the space behind my defenders which I can defend by choosing the right player, closing the space and clearing the ball. As I already mentioned, the first step is to constantly check if there is any space behind your defenders and if there is an opponent striker who is starting a run into this space. In this example, that's the case. Behind my two defenders Ramos and Pepe, there is some space marked with blue, while the green arrow shows the run of the opponent striker. And it's very important that you recognize that, because as soon as I recognize, okay, there is a run and a potential high through ball, I go over to step 2, which is changing the player. Two things are important here. At first you need to fastly select the player you want to change to, which is always the defender who has the best position to cover both the run of the opponent striker and the following high through ball. In this example that's Ramos, because if you move him slightly downwards and then to the right, he directly stands in the way of the striker and can cover potential high through balls. Furthermore, it's very important that you always change your players by using the right stick. That works by pushing it to the direction where the next player you want to change to stands. In this example, the blue arrows show the directions I have to push the right stick. At first slightly to the top right and then slightly to the top left, two fast moves to get to Ramos. This technique is very difficult and it's not easy to master it, but it's worth it because changing your players correctly with the right stick is important for every single aspect of your defense. The third step is to move your player backwards to keep the space between your defender and the opponent's striker so you can reach the long high through ball earlier than him and have a chance to clear it. 
And that's already the last step. You need to decide how you want to clear the ball and that always depends on the situation. In this example it's very close so there's no opportunity for me to control the ball. That's why I want to kick it away. Therefore I use the B button on Xbox and the circle button on PlayStation. Do not use the passing button in those situations because then your defender will make more mistakes. In the end it looks a bit risky because of the bicycle kick but that's quite normal for FIFA 14 so well defended I would say. Moving on to the short high through balls, basically the four steps remain the same but sometimes there are a bit more things you have to keep in mind defending those. You will see what I mean in a second. Here we have the scene, the opponent tries to play a short high through ball over the wing but I cover there, then he changes to the middle but I already cover there as well and I'm able to clear the ball in a very controlled style. Let's take a look on it a little bit more in detail. The first step once again is to recognize if there are any good runs of opponent strikers. By the way the red lines mark the space between my defenders where the opponent can make runs or play passes through. So you can see that there is an opponent winger starting a good run into a space behind my left center back and my left back. So I need to go over to step 2 which is changing my player to defend the following high through ball. This time it's a relatively easy change, I simply push the right stick upwards to select my left back who has the best position to cover the run of the opponent's winger. The third step is once again to sprint back with our defender to close the space behind him and reach a potential short high through ball earlier than the winger. But as I already mentioned, sometimes short high through balls are a little bit more tricky to defend like in this example because the opponent recognizes that I cover his potential high through ball on the wing with my left back so he changes his focus to the middle where Benzema is starting another good run into a space behind my right center back and my right back and that's why high through balls are so difficult to defend sometimes when the opponent has more than one option then you need to to be very fast with recognizing spaces and runs and reacting to them by changing your players and clothing the space which are the steps I have to do now once again. This time I need to push the right stick to the bottom right and afterwards to the bottom to select Ramos which is the only player here who can defend the run of Benzema and cover the potential short high through ball and you can already see it two changes cannot take longer than half of a second or I will concede a goal here so you need to be very fast with your fingers when you want to change players with the right stick. The third step this time is very important because not only I have to move Ramos backwards but a little bit downwards as well because only then he will be able to cover the run of Benzema and get into the perfect position to clear the ball. The last step once again is to decide how I want to clear the ball. You can see that both the defender and the striker are still moving backwards and are very close so I have no chance to control the ball directly by receiving it but I can head it to a player in front of me by using the passing button this time and start a counter attack. That's it for today's tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. In the background you can see some more examples for defended short and long high through balls. I know that the techniques explained are not the easiest ones but once you've mastered them you are one step ahead of many players so it's worth it, you will concede a lot less goals. This tutorial took quite a few hours, it was a lot of hard work to do so a like would be much appreciated. And if you want to see more FIFA 15 stuff, more tutorial stuff, simply subscribe and stay tuned. That's it for today guys, I'm out, peace. Hey guys, what is going on? In this video I want to give you some brand new information on FIFA 15. So we have been invited to an event in Cologne, Germany and two 